Hey everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about setting of the ROS environment for the use. Uh, I am already assuming that you have already installed the ROS Indigo on your system and you have configured everything properly. In order to check whether everything is ok to proceed or not, type print environment grab ROS. So now you can see that uh, ROS root, ROS package path, ROS master URI, ROS host name, uh, ROS distro, and ROS etc dir. So it's it's it seems sufficiently fine. Uh, Localhost can be changed to the name of your host name. For example, export ROS underscore master underscore URI. So fire dot local is the name of my system. So I'm going to set this to the ROS master URI. Okay. Uh, local if ROS master URI is not set to anything, then by default it will take the local host, which is referring to this computer that I'm using. Anyways, um, the main reason the setting the ROS master URI is to know that where the ROS master is running. If ROS master is running on a different system, then we are going to set the ROS master URI to the name of that system. For example, if the name of the other system where the ROS master is running is XYZ, then we will set this to XYZ.local. Local here refers to that the, your system is in the uh, local network so that you it do not have to carry the DNS from from the outside. If uh, ROS master is not running locally but it has a global IP address for example it has an IP address 150.134.42.24.42 so then in that case you do not need to provide local. Okay. Um, if you just install the ROS from apt on the Ubuntu then you will have to set up the sh file where it has some kind of the setup information uh, so setup information is um, will be available in the source slash opt slash ROS slash indigo slash setup dot bash so this you have to set up every time you is you are going to run the ROS but to avoid this situation or to avoid this work you can add this thing in their dot bash ashi file so you can see that I have already added my this my source file in my bash ashi so in that way I will not have to source the setup dot bash every time I try to run the ROS now before we start doing any development work in the ROS, we need to create a workspace where we will going to compile everything. We are using for this purpose we are using Catkin workspace. So let's create a Catkin workspace. So catkin underscore workspace slash src will be our development folder where we will do all the, all the other development work. Here you will have to type catkin init underscore workspace. So now your workspace is ready for the development. Yeah, nothing but now here you will do catkin underscore make uh, 
Note that even if the workspace is empty right now and you have not added any source file whether it's cpp or a python file but still you can do a catkin make while doing the catkin make it will create a devil and the build folder now before you start doing any work you have to source your devil slash setup bash file which will have information about all the executables that you are going to create when you will start developing so let's do that so slash devil slash setup dot bash so now your workspace is ready for further development now you can write the cp file or a python file to create various ROS nodes and they will start communicating once you compile them and then you start running them in the next tutorial we will talk about how different ROS nodes communicate with each other and what kind of the communication mechanism they employ.